It's said that construction workers once used a crane to line up five giant iron balls and created a massive Newton's cradle by swinging the last one to strike the rest. But is this real or just a myth? We all know how a Newton's cradle works. When one ball hits the others, it transfers energy through the line. Tests have shown that the energy transfer efficiency can reach up to 98%. So Adam decided to make his own steel ball setup to test it. Surprisingly, his version achieved a 97% energy transfer rate, almost identical. But here's the catch. His balls were 23 times heavier than the original. Losing just 1% more energy with that much added weight? That means scaling up might actually work. Next, they experimented with 33-pound, 15-kilogram steel balls. This time, the energy loss was around 6%. That's 3% worse than the previous test. Test, but still, the concept held up. Larger balls could still function. So they planned an even bigger experiment. They decided to build a supersized Newton's cradle using a mix of steel and concrete wrecking balls. But when they tested it, the results were shocking. About 80% of the energy was lost on the first impact. By the second swing, there was almost no movement at all. The problem? They used concrete as a filler material. They couldn't forge solid steel balls at that size, so they tried a steel shell with concrete inside. Now they're brainstorming how to fix the issue. What do you think would be the best material to use as the filler? 